This is the A tool, CAN OBD2 scan tool, the model MaxiScan MS300. And it says it's the best solution to diagnose all 1996 newer OBD2 compliant vehicles. And let's see what we get in the package. We get our uh, CAN OBD2 scanner, the scan tool. It has a plug that plugs into the, the computer's uh, CAN bus. Comes up with a uh, instruction manual. It's not too bad. It kind of describes the basic functions, but I'm going to tell you how to do it too. You don't have to read the manual. And then you get a library, uh, a CD that would install on your com computer. And what you do is if you get any codes back, you enter them here into the software and it'll tell you what they, they mean. And of course, from what I've read, most people don't do any, anything like that. Uh, most people just uh, get the codes and then search on the internet because uh, you'll get the newer uh, information and uh, we'll see. Tell you what, I'm going to go plug it into my car. I'm here in my garage, by the way, and my car is all right over there. Well, is to plug in the scanner to the bus. And uh, they say to do it while the car is off. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see here. There's the plug right there. And we will plug into that right now. Okay, I plugged in with the car off, as the instructions say to do. It powered up the unit. It says CAN OBD2. So um, uh, the engine's off, the, uh, the ignition's off, so that means there's no power to the computer. So I'm going to turn the ignition on. And now the ignition's on because I, I've tried this with the ignition off, and if you press enter, it'll try to scan and, and it won't scan anything because the computer's off. So let's press enter now. Scanning, reading. Okay, good. Every, everything came up good. And now it's at menu one, DTC. So let's press enter. It says there's no code. So the, this is where it would have read back all the codes. So woohoo, my car's good, there's no codes. Now we're on uh, menu item two, erase. Well, there's no codes to erase. So let me scroll down. Now we're at menu item three, I am. Press that. And this lists all the various different uh, things that can be read back. So MIL is off. I'm not quite too sure what that one stands for. Misfire. So the misfire sensor says ready, which means that there are no misfires. The fuel system says ready, so the fuel system's good. The CCM says ready, so that's good. The catalytic cat, so the catalytic converter says ready, so that's good. The HCM says NAs, so that's not installed. Evaporator, so it says that my uh, uh, fuel tank uh, evaporator system is good, so it says ready. Two air, not not installed. AC, not installed. O2S, the oxygen sensor, says ready. The HO2S uh, says ready. EGR is ready. And now we're back to where we were. So let's press enter again. And... Uh, We'll go down to the, the fourth menu where it says VIN. And supposedly if you press this, it'll read back the VIN of the car. And, and I don't get anything for that. And the fifth menu is rescan. And that's if you want to rescan your bus. We can just press that again. It's busy reading everything from the bus. So uh, anyway, uh, that's all it does. It uh, reads the codes and clears the codes. And uh, and that's about uh, what it does here, but this thing is only $19, and uh, I sure can't complain. So uh, it, it does the job that it's supposed to do.